Hi everyone, this is Dr. Kevin Prasad. Uh, welcome to another video on astrology, Vastu and Palmistry. Today we are going to talk about very popular topic. I keep getting this question all the time, either in YouTube comments or whenever I go out, you know, or during consultation. That is very simple. People ask, which gemstone should I wear? Okay. So uh, they all think that Wearing a gemstone will solve all of their problems. But let's see which problems it will solve, which problems it will increase, right? <laughs> so let's go into the detail. So people have a belief, a lot of people have a belief uh, that, okay, I should wear a gemstone based on my lagna or based on my rasi or based on my nakshatra. Like that okay, right? and then based on that, they will wear the gemstone. Uh, first, we have to understand what is this gemstone do about. What does it do? Gemstone basically enhances the planet's energy. If the planet is positively positioned in your horoscope, it will increase the energy. So positive means it becomes positive. If the planet is negatively positioned in your horoscope or it has it is generating more negative energy, more negative results, that means the moment you wear your gemstone, you will start getting more negative problems. During consultation, so many times I have told my clients to remove the gemstone, certain gemstones. They didn't believe it. They said, oh, my guru or whatever, you know, their family, he, uh, astrologer, and yes, or whoever it is, right? He, they told me to wear and all that. Then I tell only one guarantee I will give them. Remove this stone, that gemstone, and contact me after two weeks. If it didn't give any positive results, just let me. Again, I'm telling not, I'm not telling beta, but it's not out of the blue based on their horoscope, what it is generating and what for what problem they have come for the consultation, right? So we all have 100 problems, right? But we will be, there will be one problem or two issues that will be bothering us the most. And we want to resolve that issue, right? That is why we go pillar to post to get it solved, right? Out of, I mean, in that process, people come to astrologer as well, right? Okay, now let me explain to you with some example, then you will understand more clearly, okay? Okay, <clears throat> so this is a sample uh, uh, element Move it here. Okay, uh, so this is the zodiac, right? And then it has got all the the, uh, the rasis. Okay, so it starts from Aries. Mars is the lord. I've written the lordship of that sign, Mars, Venus, Mercury, Moon, Sun, Mercury, Venus, Mars, Jupiter, Saturn, Saturn, Jupiter. So from Aries to Mina. Right, and I've written the lordship. So let's pick some example. Let's take, uh, let's pick somebody born in Tula Lagda, right? So then, okay, the Lagda Adipati is Venus. So we should wear the uh, diamond or you know whatever zircon, right? Then what happens? Venus is not only the lord of the Lagda; he is also lord of the eighth house. Right, and depending on where the moon is placed, say for example, if moon is placed here, uh, sorry, Venus is placed here, then Venus is responsible to give the results of 1, 8, and 12. So instead of increasing just the lagna, you are increasing the characteristics or the bhava karakatva of 8th house and 12th house. 
let's, I mean, depending upon the position, right, that we already saw. So let's say somebody is Vrishika Lagna and Mars, okay, Mars. Then Mars is placed here, let's assume, 10th house, which is very good, right? People say, oh, Lagna Dipati is placed in the 10th house, very good, on paper, excellent. So now people say, okay, you go and wear this gemstone, right, uh, for Mars. What happens? Mars is responsible for the Lagna, right? One. And he is also Lord of what? Sixth house. One, two, three, four, five, six. Sixth house. Then he is also, he is placed in tenth house. So he is responsible for one, six, and ten. What does one, six, and ten mean? Professionally, he may gain, but marital life is messed up. There will be problem in his marital life. There will be always constant fight with their spouse. If it is a male wife, if it is a, a lady's horoscope uh, with their husband. right? So you have to look at where this Mars is placed and which Bhavas it is activated, what it is going to activate. This is, I'm just talking about the Lagna. Same thing applies to Moon, Rasi also. If, uh, okay, wherever your Moon is placed, that becomes your Rasi. Then you have to look at which Bhava that is affected, right? The same likewise how I said, right? And another concept, people say, oh, you have to take the Nakshatra. Wherever the moon is sitting, that Nakshatra, right? Say, for example, uh, let's take, uh, say, moon is sitting here. Okay, Meena Rasi, right? So Meena Rasi, as per Meena Rasi, if you wear uh, uh, Jupiter, all right, uh, yellow sapphire, but we have to see which lagna they belong to because planets deliver results based on their bhava, wherever they are placed, based on that only they are supposed to deliver the results, right? So for one person, Jupiter will be, let's if you take on the same day, so many babies are born, right? Their horoscopes are different. Why it is different? Because the planets are not changing. Jupiter is there only. Let's say if Jupiter is in uh, Meena Rasi, right? Jupiter will be there in Meena Rasi, right? In the, for the entire year. But which Bhava it, uh, it is uh, responsible for, that depends upon the lagna of, the, of that uh, child, of that person. Right, so if we go with this moon, uh, moon Janma Rashi, then you have to see, e, right, where is the Lord of this Rashi Jupiter, where it is placed, and then what are whatever the bhavas from the lagna it is responsible. That gets even more complicated. So you won't know uh, what result you are trying to do. What you have to do is you have to see what is the problem I'm trying to solve. Come and see how that problem can be solved using the gemstone. First of all, then we have to see whether the gemstone is going to solve the problem or not. If the problem cannot be solved by the gemstone, you should never ever recommend a gemstone. That's why in my consultations, I don't recommend gemstone just like that, unless I'm very sure that gemstone is going to solve the problem for that native. If it is not going to solve the problem, it will aggravate the situation for them. Okay. Uh, hope this is uh, uh, in, uh, insightful and helpful. We will talk about an, another topic on another day. Thank you.